What is going on everyone? This is Eric coming at you from just outside of Hartford, Connecticut. And today we're going to look at the Odell Beckham Jr. trade. Now this trade occurred back on March 13th, 2019. It's a fairly recent trade, but it's still worth discussing as it is tied to numerous other trade breakdowns. So it makes sense to put this video out now. It very well might be updated a few years in the future. We'll have to see. Anyway, this trade saw the Cleveland Browns acquire wide right receiver Odell Beckham Jr. and defense bend Olivier Vernon from the New York Giants in exchange for safety Jabril Peppers and guard Kevin Zeitler, as well as a pair of 2019 draft picks, a first round pick, which was the 17th overall, and a third round pick, which was the 95th overall pick. So how did these two teams do with their trades and their hauls and all that? Well, we'll start with the Browns. So Odell Beckham Jr., of course, was the big name in this trade. And Odell, uh, he had a okay season in 2019. Now, he did have 1,000 yards that year, but he did have some problems. So he wasn't exactly the most consistent receiver in the league, and he wasn't a dominant threat. He was still very good, though. He, he wasn't elite anymore, but he was still very good. And like I said, he had 1,000 yards, but the problems were he was fined twice. Now, he had engaged in a bit of a fight in a game against the Ravens where he threw a punch. He got fined for it. And he was fined a second time due to a uniform violation. And this was stupid. His pants didn't cover his knees, so he got fined for that. And then there was another time during that season where he also had... He was basically brought into halftime. They brought him into the locker room. They made him change his cleats because he was wearing uh, Joker-inspired cleats. So, yeah, he continued to cause, you know, headlines, which isn't great. Uh, so then towards December of that year, we found out he was playing through a sports hernia... So it does explain why he didn't look as elite as he had previously. He did have four touchdowns that year, though. Now, 2020 was a streaky season for Odell. It saw him end the year with 23 receptions for 319 yards and three touchdowns. Now, that sounds really concerning. It kind of is. He really only played in six games as his first target in week seven was intercepted and he ended up tearing his ACL attempting to tackle the player. So... Yeah, needless to say, it wasn't a great season for Odell. It wasn't as great as they hoped. So, yeah, Odell, the, he's still under contract for Cleveland for a little while, so we'll have to see. But then we have defensive end Olivier Vernon. So Vernon, he looked good. He looked okay, I should say, in 2019. He wasn't amazing. Now, he would play better in 2020 as he recorded nine sacks over 14 games. Now, in Week 17 against the Pittsburgh Steelers, Vernon would actually tear his, uh, ace, his Achilles, he tear his Achilles, which obviously ended his season. Now, he's currently, as of this recording, a free agent. It's really questionable if he's going to get a job offer soon. He very well might be sitting out most of the 2021 season, unfortunately. So now we have the New York Giants. And the Giants got themselves a couple of good players and a couple of high draft picks. So we'll start with safety Jabril Peppers. And uh, Jabril Peppers looked good in 2019 before he had season-ending injuries, before he suffered a season-ending injury in Week 11. Uh, yeah, so then after that, the Giants saw a lot, and they said, you know what, we're going to pick up that fifth-year option. So that's always a plus. And they became more of a presence on the field in 2020, as he would actually record a career-high two-and-a-half sacks, which, remember, as a safety, that's pretty impressive. Now, he does have one interception in each of the two years, so he's not a great ball hawk, but he does get tackles, and he's all over the field. Now he's starting to get sacks, so maybe watch out. We'll have to see. Remember, this guy was listed as an athlete in college, so he was all over the field in Michigan. It's exciting to see what they can do with him. Uh, we'll have to see what happens in year five. So, yeah, Jabril Peppers is still a starter, though. Then we have guard Kevin Zietler, and uh, Zietler himself, he had two okay seasons in New York. Now, I say okay because guards are really hard to get a read on. Uh, he... He looked okay, but he just wasn't worth the contract to them, so they would cut him after the 2020 season. So, yeah, he may have started, I think it was 30 games over two years, but that was it. That's all they got out of him. They didn't want to pay him. So now we have the two draft picks. That 2019 first-round pick was a 17th overall selection, and with that, the Giants would select defensive tackle Dexter Lawrence. Now, Dexter Lawrence has underwhelmed slightly as a pass rusher. Now, I say that he underwhelmed slightly as a pass rusher. So he looks great against the run, though, and he is starting to come more to his own as a pass rusher. So there's still a lot of talent there. He has appeared in thir all 32 games that he could, starting 31 of them, and he has six and a half sacks in the two years. 
So he started to come to his own. I'd be afraid of him in the future, and I am as an Eagles fan. Lastly, we have the 2019 third round pick, which was the 95th overall selection. With that pick, they would select defensive end O'Shane Examines. Examines. And um, Examines himself, he has also been used as an outside linebacker. They've just been kind of experimenting with him. They want him to be an edge rusher for the most part. Um, he was a decent rotational piece in year one. And then he became a starter in his second year. Unfortunately, he would hurt his shoulder in week four, which ended his season. Now, he, did, he was placed on the IR to return. He came back, and then he got hurt again. So they just put him back on the uh, season-ending IR. So all in all, it's an interesting trade. Uh, Cleveland obviously has a bit of a head case with Odell, but he's a very talented player. And then the Giants, three strong starters on your defense. Well, two strong starters, one iffy starter. We'll see if he's still a starter in 2021. And then Zietler, who's just gone now. Um, yeah, this was an interesting trade to look at. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was the Odell Beckham Jr. trade. Have a good rest of your day.